But oh, this new narrative being created, just like you just did in this show, this, you know, all of a sudden we need to put women in a certain and a better place. Bro, the, the WNBA is sponsored by the NBA. If they cut them off, that thing will fail, dog. So stop trying to create this little wedge. I don't know what is everybody doing between gay people and women. It's like, man, we can't do, we can't say nothing against y'all. It's like we're not allowed to disagree. But I can listen to two women come on this show tonight, dog Stephen A. You got a problem with that? I, you got a problem I, with look, that? You know what? I got. Listen, watch this. Let me show you this. That's a, that's an insecurity like though, DC Slim. But you know what? Hold on. That's an insecurity. On, Brother, man, listen. But that's the insecurity, like though, Stephen brother. A. But you know what? You know what's real? What if somebody said that about her? Would it be fair? Say what about and her? Then, then you'll say, uh, then if I start talking about a woman, now if I start talking about Monica McNutt, the way you talking about Stephen A., oh, my goodness, it's over. I'm not allowed to do that. But she's in and around. Wait, what did I say about Stephen A. again? Man, come on, man. Stephen A is known as a coon. Yeah, but what did I, I say about him? Like I, I said he went over to the you MMA and, and 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 made a, a mockery out of it by trying to bring his NBA uh, persona and how he uh, covered Stephen that sport over to the MMA. Trainer, and they man. checked and they checked him very quick and said, "We don't do that here. We don't okay, do that here." Minute. And I think the that's women have minute. the same uh, right and responsibility not just a right they have a responsibility to say the same thing and say no we're building something over here we Ma'am. don't do that here. we don't, we don't want do you want Ma'am. Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp to be debating the GOAT debate Ma'am. in the WMA the, the way they do MJ and LeBron hell no we don't want that we got a fresh start. L- listen we got a fresh start with the WNBA where we can actually see pure basketball without all the, 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 the nonsense and I want to keep the WNBA as pure as possible and we got to keep all of the gen- degenerates like Stephen A. Smith and these football players that try to give hot takes for a living. Keep them the hell out of it. Give me all basketball people, all female basketball people, and then eventually we'll bring some men in that's going to respect it and learn the WNBA before they start trying to be an authority figure over it. And we're going to stick on topic with, with, with the WNBA, man, because uh, it, there was – a lot of stuff going on around how you know this conversation was going. It started with Caitlin Clark, but you know when they're inviting people like Monica McNutt and uh, and um, you know Shanae Gumake and stuff like that on these panels, and they're talking. These are two players that play D one basketball. They play uh, WNBA or overseas, and then they cover the league, mm-hmm. right? So w- when I'm thinking that way, I'm like, man, who's better to take? advice from when you know with a top a topic like this then people who actually played in the league and know what the climate is like and know what the environment is like right, right. but when they invite them on these panels it's almost like the men feel like they have the final say or uh, they're the dominant voice now I, I, it, it kind of struck me as odd so um i said that i think the female should be the lead on female sports on female athletics especially WNBA, like let let them lead the conversation. We can be part of it, but why do we want to lead that? Like you get what I'm saying? That's like me wanting to be the the you know uh I, I want to give you my insight on childbirth, but a, a lady with three kids, I want her to take a back seat to what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Or you get what I'm saying, like why why would you want to be the authority figure on that? Uh but Stephen Jackson uh and Matt Barnes, they had a conversation about it, man. This is what they said, and I'm gonna come back and just like the first segment, I want to hear from Brittany and Dominique first. Right. Stephen A was talking about, you know, who talks about the WNBA, who talks about the women, who talks about women's sports more than first take. And Monica McNutt put her foot down and stood on business. You're already smiling. Yeah, shout out Double M. <laughs> shout out smiling. Double M, man. She said, respectfully, man. with your platform, you could have been doing this years ago. All right. Who talks about the Let's who talks break. about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more more than the more than first take? Stephen A, respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Again, it's it, it's interesting, you know, because I, I got to see the edit. I was I was on the plane when it happened, but you know, listening to Monica talk, I kind of got the sense of women that talk about men's sports kind of have to watch their tongue in the way they address things. And, and I never looked at it that way. Mm-hmm. You know, the way they approach, the way they call things, I never looked at it that way. And now, you know, they're saying that men who are coming into this space. 
need to do similar things. You need to watch the way you address and certain words not to say and do. And it's just a really interesting time. But when you hear those two go back and forth, and obviously, you know, Monica McNutt, you know, had a mic drop on Stephen A. What was your thought? Um, I, I Actually, I love that take, Matt, because, um, you know, we always say, can't with nobody really speak about the NBA better than we can. Right. Right. She's a female basketball player that's been there and they've done it. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to go against what she's saying. But like, and she made a point. You know, a lot of times people talking loud don't make you right. And she was real calm with the way she said. It. And she gave me, you know, she was right. You could have been talking about this three years ago. I get that. But at the same time, Stephen A. Smith, they can't get mad at her for speaking facts, Matt. Like you just said. It's certain shit we it's certain shit we can say and certain words we can use when talking about women's basketball. And when women start to talk about basketball, sometimes you got guys like them, like Stephen A. Smith, that try to overtalk these women, but just because they men. You haven't played either. Mm-hmm. But just because you feel like you're a man, you overtalk these women, feel like it's certain stuff that they can't say and then that, that's not right. My question to you is do men, if we're gonna join this race, do we need to take a back seat and allow the women to lead the race well, as far as the media goes? Well, in my opinion. I say yes. I mean, I ain't mad at that, bro. Because who can tell you more about it than the women that experienced no, this? They did it. That's what I'm saying. So that's what, and that's what I, that's another, the main thing I like, that women that played it are starting to feel the same way oh, we yeah. feel about a lot oh, of people yeah. that haven't played the yeah, game and yeah. have big opinions about it. Oh, yeah. I ain't mad at that at all. I ain't mad at that at all. Because, again, the t- all the tension is good attention, whether it comes in different forms, good and bad. But like you said, some of these women have either played it on the highest level of W or played Division One college or overseas and did their thing. So I do feel like – They know, better man, than Stephen A. <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like coming in because we expect other motherfuckers to take a backseat to us when we're exactly. talking about our game. Exactly. So we need to take – Jack, I ain't even mad at that. Yeah. I don't even look you know at it that saying? way, bro. Yeah. But we, men might need to take a backseat and allow these women to steal the car because this is this is their game. Yes. And I- Brittany, when it comes to women athletics – Mm-hmm. specifically the WNBA, who should be the lead in the discussion? Uh, should it be women that have experienced the WNBA or should it be listen, journalists like Stephen A. Smith, Chris Broussard, Rob Parker? <sighs> I wish Stephen A. Smith would shut the, um, never mind. Well, just be quiet. I don't know if I can curse on this program. Um, no, but for real, I think women, a lot of women to lead in this situation, they have the experience. They know what's going on on the ins and outs of the game in the locker room. Um, none of these men are in these locker rooms, just like none of us are in the NBA locker rooms. Um, and allow us to have a control in this situation. I just feel like it's men just trying to control, not all men. I'm not coming at all men now. <laughs> but um, when we watch the media, you know, it, to me, it just feels like men is just trying to cr- control and create all these crazy narratives about the league. And I'm not liking that whatsoever. Allow, you know, um, uh, Monica McNutt, McNutt and, and uh, Shanae, I can't say her name. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'm not even going to pronounce it. I will have to ask her personally how to pronounce it when I meet her. <laughs> um, break it down for me. But allow them to lead the, uh, uh, you know, to lead the conversations about just women leagues in general. Um, and I think a, the man should be like, you know what? You lead, I'll take the step back or I'll just follow your lead um, and just have that respect for him. I just feel like it's been getting disrespectful, a little bit too disrespectful. And just to go to Stephen A. Smith, I thought he was a coward in that moment. You know, she pointed out something that was truthful. I've been watching First Take for years, um, and I don't remember rarely he talked too much about the WNBA prior to maybe the last year or two. So she was right in that moment. Just take your L, move on. You know, he cried about it later. I didn't appreciate that. I thought he was corny for that. Um, you know, I thought he cried like a, the little, the dude on Friday, he going to cry in the car, uh, <laughs> like stop whining about it. You took your L, um, and just, you know, respect her for what she had to say and then move on. But the fact that he had to make it sound like he created these, these women and, you know, he created their careers. I didn't like that at all. But to go back to the original question, yes, a lot of women to take the lead on this. D- Dominique, why why not both? Somebody said that in the comment section. Why not both? And I I, I guess I, I've never seen two people in the driver's seat driving a car, but maybe that's possible. Why not both? 
I think that's a really good question. And I think that that's a fair mm -hmm. question to ask just because men have already been leading the conversation about sports in general, whether it's a female led sport, what even tennis, Stephen mm -hmm. A had a lot to say about tennis, you know, especially when there were those controversial mm -hmm. moments that happened, you know, a couple people didn't want to show up to, you know, post game press conferences. And he had a lot to say about that. But I think what we really need to look at is the fact that Stephen A only talks about what is trending. So, you know, and the reason why I believe that women need to lead the discussion in sports is because men have shown us and have proven the leaders in the sports world and the sports debate shows, they have shown us the disgusting way that they're going to talk about the WNBA, its players, how they're going to marginalize us, how they're going to, you know, just simply, you know, state that we're jealous or we hate Caitlin Clark. And these are the most simplest takes that I've ever heard. They are not even giving us in the sport the, you know, the time and attention to actually watch these games, analyze how we're playing and have, you know, a sophisticated conversation. You have Cheney Agumake on your, on your panel and on your show, you have Monica McNutt. So how dare you mm -hmm. sit there and say that we're being jealous. You couldn't come up with anything better than that, Stephen A. <laughs> and that, yeah. You know, as educated as he is, as long as he's had, you know, the floor in leading these conversations in sports, you have a unique opportunity to discuss these things and really help put, you know, the, the sport on the map and the discussion surrounding the sport on the map. And that's how I was so disappointed because that was how he chose to, you know, present himself, him and Shannon. I felt that they should have been ashamed that morning because the way they were yelling over her, they were just so defensive. You know, because Stephen A knows good and well that he only speaks about what is trending. And I would have respected him to say, hey, right. those were not the topics that people wanted to hear about. I, you know, I'm speaking on the things that, you know, that are popular, that are trending. We're, you know, that's what we do. That's what we do in television. And I'm, and, yeah. and he normally speaks on the business of, you know, his show. So I was very disappointed that he just didn't give that, you know, honest answer because he could have gotten out of, you know, oh, I don't talk about women's sports by just saying that, you know, yeah. um, and I think that that would have been a much better answer for him. But he chose to jump down her throat. You don't talk about the WNBA. Stop it. Yeah. The most I, is Caitlin Clark, you know, and the fact of the matter is, is something that Monica McNutt said that was really important and, and interesting was that she said three years. Do we know why she said three years? because that is when the, the WNBA started to become more of a desirable product for everybody. That's mm -hmm. when it became more popular. Asia Wilson ascended in that three years. Mm -hmm. she, has had, she has a Nike contract as well. That's obviously not publicized and the number of that contract hasn't been made public to my knowledge. Um, you know, she's got, she had a signature shoe, um, you know, and we're seeing a lot of dominance in the WNBA and really great, you know, game changing moments. And it, it's not only Caitlin Clark impacting that. Yes, she's brought a lot of new fans and we know which kind of new fans those are, but she, you know, she, she's not the only one that we're watching and the ratings say that. So these are facts. These are not just like my opinion. The ratings show that they're watching Asia Wilson just as much as Caitlin Clark. They're selling well, well, not 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 just as much. Like they they actually coming to watch Caitlin Clark a little bit more, probably double all, almost. <laughs> but, but that's but her fan base is a little bit more fanatic on the on that side. But look, I'm gonna move to Zoe. Zoe ratings though, they're watching her. They're watching. Oh, okay. They're watching okay, I, I yielded that. They're watching but, these people. Yeah, they are. They are for sure. And it's always it, and it's been growing the last five years for sure. You know what I mean? So it, it was it was in the right direction. It was going up. So but, you know, she did put a a, a jolt in it. But so mm -hmm. remember when Stephen A. Smith tried to do boxing and <sighs> Joe Rogan was like, this is not your you cannot come over here and just do that. With the way, first of all, you don't know nothing about fighting the MMA. He, was it boxing or MMA? It was one of them. You don't know nothing about this. First of all, you don't know you don't know the sport. Second of all, you're trying to use your hot take that you brought over here from basketball and NBA. It works for that hot takes and you and you criticizing players and all that stuff. Yeah. He's coming over here and trying to criticize a fighter the way he criticized Kyrie Irving and <laughs> Joe Rogan let him freaking have it, right? And that's how I feel about the way he trying to uh, let me bring what I do for the NBA to the female side. Mm -hmm. All of y'all are jealous. All of y'all are bitter. And they're telling them the girls are telling them or the women. I'm sorry. The women are telling them we don't want that over here. Keep that to the NBA. 
we got something different over here. We still play physical basketball. Uh, we don't want it to be talked about the way y'all talk about the NBA, NBA players. Keep that over there. Let us build our own thing, and y'all can join in on the conversation. We're not saying you don't have a voice, but we're saying it's the <clears throat> WNBA for women. Let, we, let women do that thing. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's that's one hundred percent. Like, I think the, the the famous phrase is, uh, "Men shouldn't be in the front of women's business." Like, bro. Like, listen. At the end of the day, yes, it, it is basketball, and I think that it's is is great. The platform that women's basketball has been getting over these past couple of years, I'm gonna say years, just like that, because, like you said, man, Asia Wilson is different. She is different. But in, anyway, like it, it, it's really hard for me to take Stephen A. serious in anything that he says <laughs> um, because he, he, he has shown himself to be who he is. He's a he, he's a hot take dude who's been been in on, you know, the, the national television when it comes to sports for years and years and years. Everybody in every generation and had it out with Stephen A. because this is what he do. We think about the Iverson takes he's had. We think about some of the takes he's had about Donovan McNabb. This is who he is, and he tried to do that same thing again. And I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad I was watching it. <laughs> Yo, the face that he made, I, like he he, and, and instantly instead of like like Dominique's point, he he did not try to say, you know what, you're right. I could have been. He didn't try to say that. He tried to get the sympathy vote. This <laughs> Like a damn, yo, he, he put his hand down. He was shaking his head. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody feel sorry for you. He ain't been invited back since, has he? I, I, like, man, get, man, listen, bro. It's one of, it's one of them things, right? And I, and I hear what everybody's saying, but he gets it because I've I've watched first take several times, especially during the NFL season, right? <clears throat> and when there's an NFL issue. And you got Shannon Sharp sitting right there or Dan Orlowski sitting over there. He'll mm -hmm. say, I'm going to turn to you guys because you guys played the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he gets it. He he says mm -hmm. that at least twice a week That's he has an athlete on there. That's real. That's because they done checked them before, Jay. They checked but, but, them before. But he, but he won't do that to the women because no. uh, he feels like that 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 his superpower is, is his mouth, right? Pause. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. But, you know what? Never mind. Oh, I don't yeah. even want to talk no more. Why? That, 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 was, not, <laughs> that, that was not it. Why? <laughs> that was, that was, you know what? Yeah, I have to that, down. Put the Wait, down. Somebody in the comments. Know what that man do at the dark? Hey, that's his business. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he do some of that. But look, <laughs> right, somebody in the comments said, right? well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we ain't even an hour in, y'all. We can't. He probably, go. Be, he probably be at the ditty parties for real. Wait for that man. Oh But what I'm saying, he he. He he's, he feels like man, I can. Not only can I out talk whoever comes on this show, if you beat me, you'll never be back on the show again because I'm I'm the EP. Yeah. yeah, and I'm the one who invited you on this panel. It's time for the women to have their own spot where they don't have to continue to be invited to a panel. Let them have their own. They got the WNBA rising. That's a rising stock. I was listening to uh, Gilbert Arenas uh, talk to Pat Beverly today. And he was talking about how the WNBA is rising. You know, the first suggestion that he said, he said, oh, now all the former NBA coaches are going to flock to the WNBA to coach WNBA. No, nah, don't do that. No, nah, don't come now. No, let the let, let let hire female coaches, you know, all of that stuff, man. Like, come on, man. You can't take over this league. And and I, I think I think I think it's it, it, they got to slow down and, and just and, and if you want to have something for the from themselves, man, if you want to keep the show a show, right? So you got uh, the athletes like Monica Bignett and uh, Jade. Uh, Y'all know how to say her last name. Yeah, Gumake. Yep, her <laughs> too. <Christ>. And <clears throat> don't yeah. worry about that. And then uh, instead of having someone like Stephen A. leading the conversation, put L. Duncan and let her lead the conversation. Ella Duncan. No, that no, it's L. L. No, nah, nah, if no, nah, it's, it's Ella. It's an E at the end. The, the Ella, Ella silent. Would be an A at it's, the end. Ain't no sense something being there and being silent at the same time. I can't. I can't talk. Oh, okay. At the, same so, time. So, the E is there. Oh, I see it. So, so, I so, explain it. pneumatic. Explain pneumatic. The A and the I in my name it's, is silent. It's, what you mean? Explain it. Explain pneumatic. You say it's, you can't. I don't pronounce it pneumatic. It's a P in front of it. No, it's pronounced. No, it's pronoun it's is is pneumatic. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's home to pot. I look. I I refuse to, name to is conform to you putting a letter there and telling me it's not there. 
Let you can't do that. Uh, that's, that. Come on, that's like me saying, hey, "Look, man, I'm still in your wallet, but I'm not. That's my. That's not my hand. That's not my hand. No, you can't tell me something's there, not there, but it's there." Dude, the whole A and the I, and my name is Silent. But girl named Ella. Take the E out of it, then. Her name's Ella. I'm sorry. Ella Duncan. Go ahead, Jay. I'm sorry. Not her <laughs> Not <laughs> let, let Ella lead the conversation, bro. Ella, you're right, right, right. I'm not even going to I'm not. Sometimes oh, you just got to let them have it. That's, 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 you're right. But you know what? And I, I will say, man, I've, I've been watching, and there's been more of a, a shift to where, like, there are a lot of all women led panels for, like, uh, the games and, um, the the discussions about like inside the NBA they'll have a a, a lot more women uh, dominant or all women panels but for this instance right Stephen A and Shannon were completely wrong uh, first off they were you know and they got blasted and like I told I told you guys in the group chat you never make you never embarrass Stephen A publicly even if you're right right that's just rule number one in ESPN but um. I, I do believe that not just not just basketball, like women's sports. Hold on, Chris. Michaela Andrews is not a woman. Malika. God, Malika? Please. I'm calling Michaela. I don't like her. She's oh, telling the chick. All right. Listen, wait a minute. <laughs> Listen. Whether or not she's a plant it remains to be seen. We get that, right? But still, she, she is technically plant. a woman, right? Nah, she, she is uh, a, a, a science government official. Yeah, I would call a Terminator, but you know, it's yeah, that, that works for me. Yeah. Anyway, um, I do not just, but not just in in women's basketball. I think in women's sports, there should be there should be women led commentary and people in the comments talking about like why not both. Um, it still can be both. We said women led, not you know women completely dominant and i wouldn't be i would be fine with women completely dominating women's sports conversations as well and and this the thing chris and i don't mean to cut you up but this the thing that because i i think it needs to be said no one's saying it can't be a panel of men and women we're saying we should take a back seat when it becomes when it comes to women's sports i think we should do that number one number two is that it needs to be someone knowledgeable. It can't be all because I'm a journalist. We got too many qualified females that can do this very good justice right, by them speaking on it. it they're it, they're too qualified. And Stephen A. Smith, I mean, think think about it. You got a former WNBA player uh, in uh, Aguma K and a former D1 player, overseas player in McNutt, sandwiched between a journalist and a football player. <laughs> it makes no sense. And they're trying to tell them about the WNBA. How does that make sense? It does. Okay. Okay. Hey, I, hey, I, Sharp I, said he got a freaking gold jacket. That's <laughs> just look, listen, bro. Got, come on. Man. I think a lot of I think a lot of these these guys, Stephen A. Shannon, for example, think that just because and then I, I don't understand where Stephen A feels like his 25, 30 years as a journalist qualifies him to be this uh be all Nostradamus, I know everything about everything sports related guy. And when you were when you played in school, you sucked. <laughs> so uh, you're not even really qualified to talk about anything. W- you know what I'm saying? W- Just because w- you huh? Did he play? Yes, that's you. He played, he, he always says he played at what well, he said he went to Winston Salem and Salem. blew his knee out before he, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> even still, right? First game. <laughs> Yeah. Something. Well, look, Braceful Shop, Burn Your Sage, oh, I know Light a Candle, DC Slim is here. DC, what's up? Hey, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm going to be real calm, and I'm going to keep it a thousand today. You know, went down the wrong road, and I'm going to keep it real, which, first of all, hello, ladies. How y'all doing today? I really don't want y'all to be mad at me for some of the comments I'm about to make, but I'm going to be very respectful and fair, okay? First of all, did anybody on this panel play basketball? Yes. I'm listening to y'all. Oh, like, did you play in the NBA? Like, you know no, what I'm saying? That's not like, what you asked. You asked you play basketball. That's not what you asked. Well, I'm asking this because I'm pretty sure Stephen A. played basketball, but he didn't play in the NBA. So let me just, just let me, let me, let me make my point, a couple points, because I know y'all going to interrupt me. First of all, I'm hearing a lot of hate today. 
I don't like Stephen A. I don't like Caitlin Clark or LeBron James. Let's put that disclaimer out there. But I am going to keep it 100 because I ain't got to like you to agree with you. Stephen A. ain't do nothing wrong. You know where Monica McNutt messed up at? When she said you you, sh- you should have used your platform. This, this, ain't the, this ain't the time for you to try to pull my card to help your, your cause. We talking about this. I'm tired of this, man. Look, women, if women are going to get into men's sports, you will have to be ready to battle like men. If you this is something that's not it, the topic. The, to- on, the topic. On, the topic is on, men on, and women's hold, sports. That's not the topic. Hold on, listen. Hold on. Let me let me go where I'm going. The problem is women don't support women's sports, man. Yeah, but that's not the topic, so though. Who them, hold on. Wait. That's the topic. That's what you watch. This. You say you want women commentators. Ain't no women watching in the WNBA. Yeah, but that's not the topic. Seventy plus. Oh, just let me look, man. You go. Just let me make my point before you keep it. All right, I let you make your I'm point. Just going on what I was saying. All right, all right. go ahead. What only only because you're my dog and you're a VIP, I let you make your point. But you, you but you out, but you out, you going, you going off the rails. But go ahead. Okay, listen. You just said you want women to kind of lead the talk with WNBA. Not not yes no. not kind of. I want them to lead it. Okay, okay. So listen, watch this. When they're leading, who's watching? Seventy percent. I'm man. watching. I don't You're need watching. yeah, I don't exactly. need Stephen A. I don't need Stephen A. Smith to to, to help help me uh listen, stomach dog, look, the WNBA. I, I, listen, I'm trying to make some points you keep interrupting me all so right, I can't right. get where I'm going. Right, I mute myself. This is not the time to just bash Stephen A. Stephen A is definitely a clown. No problem. Cool. But he did make some of them people. Don't lie, because that's what you watch it for. You watch it for the clown show. That's why everybody watch it. So you can't you can't just like flip the script because the here I go the female felt like something was wrong. Come on, man, Monica McNutt acts like a man when she's on that show. She's one. That's no disrespect to a woman. Okay, she's on a male show where they use a lot of testosterone and loud voices. Can't come in that joint and trying to put your skirt on. It's not made for that, okay? And that's not a knock to women, okay? But oh, this new narrative being created, just like you just did in this show, this, you know, all of a sudden we need to put women in a certain and a better place. Bro, the, the, the WNBA is sponsored by the NBA. If they cut them off, that thing will fail, dog. So stop trying to create this little wedge. I don't know what is everybody doing between gay people and women. It's like, man, we can't do, we can't say nothing against y'all. It's like, we're not allowed to disagree, but I can listen to two women come on this show tonight, dog Stephen A. You got a problem with that? I, you got a problem I, with look, that? You know why I got, listen, watch this. Let me show you this. That's a, that's an insecurity like though, D.C. Slim. But you know what? Hold on. That's an insecurity. On, Brother, man, listen. But that's the insecurity, like though, Stephen brother. A. But you know what? You know what's real? What if somebody said that about her? Would it be fair? Say what about and her? Then, then you'll say, uh, then if I start talking about a woman, now if I start talking about Monica McNutt, the way you talking about Stephen A., oh, my goodness, it's over. I'm not allowed to do that. But she's in and around. Wait, what did I say about Stephen A. again? Man, come on, man. Stephen A is known as a coon. Yeah, but what did I, I say about him? Like him. I, I said he went over to the yeah, MMA and, and 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 made a, a mockery out of it by trying to bring his NBA uh persona and how he uh covered Stephen that sport a over a to the MMA. And they male. checked and they checked him very quick and said, We don't do that here. We don't okay, do that here. Man. And I think that's the women have man. the same uh right. And responsibility, not just a right, they have a responsibility to say the same thing and say, no, we're building something over here. We don't do that here. We don't don't want, do you want Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp to be debating the GOAT debate in the WMA the the way they do MJ and LeBron? Hell no, we don't want that. We got a fresh start. Listen, we got a fresh start with the WNBA where we can actually see pure basketball without all the, 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 the nonsense. And I want to keep the WNBA as pure as possible, and we got to keep all of the gen- degenerates like Stephen A. Smith and these football players that try to give hot takes for a living. Keep them the hell out of it. Give me all basketball people, Please. all female basketball people, and then eventually we'll bring some men in that's going to respect it and learn the WNBA before they start trying to be an authority figure over it. 
at least come in and learn the sport and be around it two or three years exactly. before you're trying to be an authority figure. You didn't even play it. You can't play it because you're a man. I get it now. I get it now. So you're going to just I, – I'm not talking about none of it because you had me muted. I see what you're doing now. I'm not allowed to say mine. That's bullshit what you just said. That's pee, not water. You understand what I'm saying? Dog, you just preaching to the choir. I understand you got two beautiful young women on here. But this ain't fair, dog. This is some speak, bullshit. DC son, speak to the women. Let, let, let them speak for themselves. No, I'll be quiet. Listen, listen, speak to the... Listen, they, listen, they, they got a question. They, 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 to, let them ask a question. Listen, Brittany, Dominique, I whichever know, one. Listen, I if y'all even make my point. Until, what, DC, you, you don't have a point. I can't get them, DC oh, Sim, you don't have a point. What makes you think you smarter than me? I'm not. You smarter than me. I actually think you smarter than me. I actually do. Hey, That's I why I let you, you call now. in every day. Hey, okay, okay. You let me see. You see what we doing? Hey, guess what you doing? What? You sound like Stephen A. Okay, that's fine. All right, it's the, fine. That's hey. I'm gonna hang up now, and I'm gonna no. Don't hang, don't don't hang up. Don't hang up yet. They got questions for you. Dang. DC, I do have a question for you. You mentioned that you had to listen to two women talk poorly about Stephen A. Like, would it have made a difference if Brittany and I were two ugly women or if we if the whole panel were men, would you be able to stomach that conversation about Stephen A a little bit better? That's yeah, he's gone now. He hung up. But I, I think I think that's that's an insecurity for him. I mean, and, and, and I'm glad I and I'm glad I, I was able to push that button because I want to know what it is that bothers men so much about a woman. I don't. Leading a conversation for the WNBA, it's a woman's league. I don't I, like somebody is please call and explain it without the emotion. Yeah, I, 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 just I, don't. Might, have, I might have an angle. Like, oh, okay. I might, I might have an angle. Um, I don't feel this way, but I feel like this could be how a lot of men probably think. I think a lot of men still have a problem with sports being. Uh, I just had the word and I lost it. Infiltrated? No. Do they, do they, do they feel like women is shutting us up? Like I, I, like I talked to uh, one of my friends, and he told me, you know, I think the fear is a fear. Like the the issue is not women leading WNBA. The issue is what they think it's going to turn into. They there are some men that are threatened, thinking that mm -hmm. women are telling them they don't have, they can't have a voice. And I don't. I, even if a woman told me I can't have a voice in women's stuff, okay, why why, why the hell would I care? I don't, like if like if I see a group of women over there talking about women's things and they tell me to stay out of the conversation, why the hell would I care? I I, I don't. I don't I honestly though, guys, think about it though. Why were people upset that we had a black president? Black people couldn't come yeah. up. Women yeah. can't. You know, the oppressed need to stay in their oppressed role. We need to stay at the bottom. We need yeah. to stay in our place. We need to stay. You know, not talking about mm -hmm. these. We're not allowed to speak about sports. They let us play. The NBA gave us a league. Oh, whoop de doo You know, and now that we're actually ascending, that's an issue, right? We're coming out from the bottom. We're trying to. And for Ugh. some reason, we need, we need to stay there. We need to be kept in yeah. our place. I don't have time for these mis misogynistic type statements. Um, I, to me, it's an ego thing. You know, I debate sports all the time with men and a lot of them can't handle it they see me oh you still you don't know more sports than me oh well i do because clearly if the first thing you coming at is my gender when i'm speaking to you in sports that's yeah. the insecurity that's the ego that you got to deal with i don't have time in the world to deal with that um i'm gonna do what i do and i'm gonna make you look silly matter of fact you gonna make yourself look silly no disrespect to dc slim um because for the most part i do like a lot of his takes um i think he's funny but he just made himself look and sound really, really silly. So that's something he got to deal with that. he That's the insecurity he has to handle on his own. I ain't got time for that. But look, oh, at this comment. look at this <clears throat> comment right in front of us. Women do actually have to be careful about what they say about men's, you know, sports. When they're commenting, when you when you listen and watch Cheney, she is very careful. If, if you guys remember how she spoke on Kyrie, she knew him personally. She also came from a player. Mm -hmm perspective just being careful and sensitive around that and how other players talk about another player women are very respectful of you know of men in their sports and we you know we have to be careful because if we speak on you know basketball or any sport the way that the men are, are speaking on it then we're called emotional if we give a hot take on television we can't do that we have to like report the news 
We just have to report what's happening. You know, we have to speak on the game, analyze it, but we can't really give an opinion. If you notice, none of the women really do give an opinion when they're speaking on the men's sport. They just yeah. speak matter of factly, hey, this is what happened. This this turnover happened, but they don't well, say how they really feel. Yeah, let me Players, get to this check. Uh, Malika Andrews, Mina Kimes, Monica McNutt, Kimberly Martin, Maria Taylor, Joy Taylor, Ella Duncan, etc. Don't have God. to worry about offending men when covering men's sports, but men can't cover the WNBA. No, we're not saying. See, that's the thing. You're not. No, you're not hearing what we're saying. We're saying let the women lead the discussion because they have all the experience. We have zero experience playing in the WNBA. Can we let a woman who, like a Rebecca Lobo or Lisa Leslie, lead the discussion of the WNBA, especially when we have a topic like, hey? Do we think it was women being jealous of Caitlin Clark when they hip checked her or when this one girl hip checked her and you get the Hall of Famer Rebecca Lobo come on the show and say, no, we've been playing like that for years. We got men that have came to the WNBA for the first time this year. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they got an opinion that they think that should be respected as much as Rebecca Lobo's that we would not allow a woman who just started watching the NBA come up and, and tell uh, who, 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 like Charles Barkley, and tell Charles Barkley, no, this is the deal. But do we that really think fly. that Charles Barkley is even watching? That's the worst part of it all, is that not only did they not play in the WNBA, they weren't watching. They weren't supporting the league. They're the still first not game. watching. They're, They're still, still not watching. watching. They, and they comment. They'll, they'll tell oh, you. They'll say, oh, I didn't, see, I didn't see what happened right before. Oh, because you didn't exactly. watch the game. You have a big opinion about Kennedy Clark. You know, Kennedy Clark. Checking her, I, I had. A, it, I was listening to a dude today that 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 was that had a podcast and having this discussion that we're having now with a female on the panel who covered the WNBA. And this dude came out and admitted, "I have to admit, I haven't watched any WNBA this season yet because I've been mm -hmm. uh, so busy with the NBA playoffs." How you come on here and and, and talk about this and you ain't seen no games? Yes, yeah, at, at least he was honest. You know, yeah. to me, Kendrick Perkins is the one who nailed it. You know, he spoke very, you know, well about, you know, the discussion and how, you know, they're getting it wrong. He defended. He came out and said, hey, God, we're, we're getting it wrong. We're getting this discussion wrong. Here's the Go thing. ahead, Jay. Here's the thing. Let's say, for instance, because let me give you an apples to apples example. Let's say right now LeBron James comes on television and tell everybody because he's been the man in his locker room for his whole career for 21 years. He tells everybody <clears throat> how the Dallas Cowboys feel about Dak Prescott as a leader. <laughs> <Doesn't it? laughs> it, no matter how great LeBron is and or, or not or whatever, and, and how much he's been in, in his locker room, he, he doesn't have the experience to speak about a, an NFL locker room and a specific team or whatever to a point of it being fat. That's you real. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, Michael Irvin may be a little better at figuring out what's going on in Dallas. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Correct. So so it, it, it's one of those things where no one's saying that, hey, LeBron uh, doesn't know sports or whatever. Hey, the man was flipping plays at, uh, at age eight it's in old. his head. So, you know what I'm saying? We know he knows sports. But sometimes there is someone a little more qualified to speak to an issue. And, and then let them lead that conversation mm -hmm. because you, <clears throat> when you're watching the WNBA, it's a very different product than the NBA. Facts. When you're watching the NBA, it's a very different product than the NCAA. Coach K can't tell you how to run an NBA team. I don't, and he's the greatest basketball coach of all time. What? But he never did that. Careful with that, but I, I'm going to let you go. I'm cooking. No, I'm gonna okay, let you. I'll, let you, I'll let you go. My bad. To get that off. <laughs> no, he did it on purpose because he knew we couldn't We he knew we couldn't uh, uh, ju uh, jump in the middle of his uh, his his take. It was. He it was slid perfect. that in there on purpose. That was so slick, man. Hey, we got a call on the line, Roller Curtis, and the phone line is open, man. If y'all can call in, we're going to try to get two phone calls in so we can move to the next topic because we, we ran behind schedule. Go ahead, uh, Roland. What's up, Mel? What's up? What's up, panel? Um, yeah, uh, what's up, y'all? Mr. Slim went super saying today. Are you are you um, gonna unsubscribe too? All I did, I, I day one is unsubscribing <laughs> because we support yeah, women. I, I, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna I'm going to agree to a certain extent with Mr. 
DC Slim, but I'm I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna unsus- I'm not gonna uh, unsubscribe. My you know, dog. I'm a, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna be a subscriber, but um, you know, I just wanted to you know bring up some points that you guys made uh, made. So, like you know, my thing is. It, it, it's cool that we're saying now that uh, AJ Wilson is the is the, is the thoroughbred. She's uh, you know we're saying now that she's the best player in the league. Stephen A. Smith said a few days ago she's the face of the league, which that that's that's that's, quite, that's arguable, you know. Um, yes, I kind of think it's kind of, it's kind of too late now to now start bringing up. Somebody mentioned a caller said that we should have been talking about her when she came out of South Carolina. Um, it's kind of too late now because we're now in this uh. Caitlin Clark era kind of thing where she's kind of broken the whole thing open and now we're trying to go backwards to talk about somebody else and nobody really wants to hear it. Um, even on your on your rundown, Mel, you have Caitlin, you had Caitlin Clark as the first topic. Uh, and I know, obviously, I've been in, um, in your channel for a while. I don't know if you've ever had Adrian Wilson on your on your rundown before. You may have, you may have and I, I you might have forgotten, but I know you've had Caitlin Clark on your rundown. Yeah, but Adrian, I'm I'm already working on it um because I'm doing my um top five MVP for the WNBA. I'm yeah. just I'm just I'm just trying to make sure I see all the uh teams play before I make that uh educated opinion. Wow, you mean to tell me? But wait, wait, man, hold on. These you mean to tell me to be knowledgeable before you speak on it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I am not gonna hand the league over to a a rookie with no accolades in the professional career. Over somebody with a resume like Asia Wilson, I'm not. I'm not following the media trend. I'm not. I'm not doing it. This is Asia Wilson's league, and it's been Asia Wilson's league for the last few years. Convincingly, it's not. It's not arguably. It's not an uh, opinion, but it's facts. The numbers are there. The accolades are there. The talent. Yeah. Is there. But, but but I kind of feel like it's kind of too late to say it now. It's not too late. She's um, dominating. We're not glossing over her. Yeah. She's still running well, the league. Kaylin Clark's not even rookie yeah. year for me. We was talking. We was no, talking about uh, Kwame, uh, we was talking about uh, Gilbert Arenas during the Kwame Brown era. Oh, that's right. Some okay. people don't get an era. You 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 say it's the Kaitlyn Clark era. She she ain't got no damn era yet. What what has Kaitlyn Clark done for this to be her era in the WNBA before? Uh, okay, over okay, let me answer that question. Let me, let, okay, let me, let me answer that question. So the young lady on the panel said that as many people were are watching Aja Wilson as uh, Kaitlyn Clark and. Mel, I'm glad you you, you, you disagree because that that was definitely wrong. So when you talk about what she's done that other players haven't done, so on on the, for the last three seasons of the WNBA, on average, uh, the viewership per game was three hundred and seventy two thousand, three seventy two k. Now it's in the short short season it's been so far it's one point four million. So one point four one point four million, um, that's an increase of two hundred and twenty six percent from three hundred and seventy two thousand. So that's why it's kind of the Caitlin Clark era. Well, um, let me ask you a Make her the commissioner of the league then. They ain't got nothing. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let, me ask you a ser- let me ask you a series of questions. And it's just, uh, the answers just need to be real concise, number answers, right? How many MVPs does Caitlin Clark have? Zero. How many MVPs does Asia Wilson have? I don't know. Not More zero. than zero, correct? Yes. Three, three. Okay. Three, how many three. defensive players? How many? Hold on. I'm, how many defensive player of the years does Caitlin Clark have? Zero. How many DPO wise does Asia Wilson have? I don't know. More than zero. How many NBA uh, WNBA championships does Caitlin Clark have? Zero. How many does Asia Wilson have? At least one. It, she has two. She repeated. Two. She's the she's two time right. defending WNBA champion. It is not Caitlin Clark's era. Continue. No, Speaking no, two-time no. defending that, champions. That, oh my that, God. that last minute or so proves proves that it, it is because there's many people in the chat that didn't know anything about the Agent Wilson answer, and we only knew about the we only know about the Caitlin Clark answers because it's it's her time. We know. Oh, Ro- 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 Roland, Ro- but Roland, Roland, the, Roland, you got you got to you got to admit though, the reason why people didn't know about it is because the mainstream wasn't pushing it, and the mainstream wasn't pushing it not because she wasn't an amazing player. But because they weren't interested in pushing it, they're interested in Caitlin Clark because she was an amazing college player, but she's not an amazing pro right now. So they're yeah, pushing. So, so, so the love, so the love, the love of fair. But listen, it's been a lot of amazing college players come come out. The reason why they fell in love with Caitlin Clark hmm. is because the majority demographic mm. 
good word. chose her. They chose her, and that's fine. But it's the majority demographic. Now, okay. if if all if, if you look at the social media profile of Caitlin Clark and 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 uh, Angel Reese, Angel Reese have more people actually following her. Yeah. Right. She she yeah. she she does. If if the NBA really or the WNBA really wanted to grow, they would figure out a way to market Caitlin Clark as well as other players, especially the best. So you got the best player that in the league, and Aja Wilson. You got the most uh, uh, unique and, and appeasing play style in Jewel uh, Jewel Lloyd. Oh, you man. have a, a rookie phenom in Caitlin Clark, and a, a and the most popular player in the NBA in Angel Reese. If you take those four people and market them, the league will grow. Even more than it's growing now with just marketing Caitlin Clark. That's a fact. Mel, Mel, can I, can I, can I, um, the young lady, she took him to DC Slim about how, you know, if they weren't good looking, would, would, um, would they, would the people be viewing the show? I gotta take some of that and apply that to Angel Reese. Now, you, you mentioned her followers and stuff, and even Angel Reese said herself she's been sexualized. Uh, um, if you look at Angel Reese and you look at Caitlin Clark, obviously, Angel Reese, in my, in my opinion, Angel Reese is more attractive. That's false. Caitlin Kay- Clark, one of the baddest chicks in the WNBA. Let's be real. <laughs> no. Let's be real. No, 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 re- no, no, no. I, I got to stop you right there, and I got to go to the next caller. But hey, hey, I got to stop you right there because you're not going to talk about Caitlin Boo Boo like that. She's one of the baddest yeah. chicks in the league. Yeah. You seen her with heels on? Did you see? Did you see that alligator uh, skirt she had on on draft night? I wish the alligator was still alive. <laughs> but I also want to point out to you that Asia Wilson had the highest WNBA finals ratings in all of NBA WNBA history, just to be yeah. clear. So, yeah. you know, in Caitlin Clark, I don't think she's making the average this year. Just so you know, and just so you know, this year, if you take a look at the television ratings, they are in line with Caitlin Clark's. People do want to watch the Las, the, uh, the Las Vegas Aces. They do. So okay. if you look okay, at those Mel, numbers, I think Mel, her Mel, 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 had 1.3 million Mel. and Caitlin Clark had 1.4. So she's edging them by a bit, but again, like she's breaking records and it's just not being put out there. No, but okay, but there were there were seven games uh, a few days ago, seven WNBA games, including Reese, including Aja Wilson, seven games that where Caitlin Clark wasn't playing and the average attendance in those arenas was 7,000. But the Do two you know games that's that the play, attendance play, that they have, what, 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 you can what, what, only sell okay, out the what, what, that you have. So I appreciate okay, these stats. Okay, you said, you, okay, you, said you, you said your stats. You, you said your stats. Uh, let me say my, can, I, can I say my stats? You said your stats. Can I say mine? So I was saying the average uh, attendance for those seven without Caitlin Clark was seven thousand, but the two games that Caitlin Clark played was seventeen thousand. So that's because almost three times. Okay, before the I go, Mel. Okay, Mel. Okay, Mel. No, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me get one of y'all walking, talking to us at one time. Hey, go ahead, uh, Dominique. But speaking okay, to the mic, speaking to the mic, Dominique. The seats that they have are less than the arenas that they are putting Caitlin Clark in. So the WNBA, right. before Caitlin got there, they decided that they were going to market her instead of marketing people that have a larger following than her that are actually way more popular. Angel Reese was at the Met Gala. You think people aren't going to watch her play? That's, That's yeah, they they missing they, they missing the ball on this role. Re- re- remember, they're not even putting some of these games on TV. All the Caitlin, almost all the Caitlin games are on TV. Thirty six, forty games this season. Games are getting sold out. So it, Asia no, Wilson, okay. she's well, selling I, I, out arenas, but they only have X amount of seats. So they're moving Caitlin Clark's games to literally NBA arenas so that they can meet that demand. But they're not doing that for the other players and the other teams. But they are selling out their man. arenas. Chicago no, Sky is selling out her arena. Yes, they are. I'm just was, telling you that. Man, hold on, hold on, Roland. Make your last point, man, because this this okay, phone okay, uh, okay. is a lot of people just trying to get in here, man, and and okay, and, and, okay. and not and not too much on my Puerto Rican princes, please. Who? Okay, this is my last. This is my last point. My <laughs> no. last point is this. Mel, you, you Mel, you made the you made the analogy of. I mean, this whole this topic right now is about let, let the women lead because they've actually experienced it, and this goes back to what we we talked about before about if you've done it, um, does that give you more? Um, should I give you more of a front seat, you know, to, to not ne- front not front necessarily rolling. I mean, because it's, it's some, it's a, it's a couple of men that's been following the WNBA for years and calling the games. So I, obviously they've done the homework. They've done the work to, uh, to, to earn the respect, to be respected in that, in that field. But, right. But for someone yeah, no, to not do that I work was, and try to take over that. on okay. someone that actually played in the but, league, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Okay. But, you use the analogy of 
that you say you're not qualified to, to talk about childbirth and, and, and that a woman who has three kids. I, I can't be I can't be qualified if I'm if, if I study it. Hold, hold, but hold on, Roland, 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 Roland. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, Roland. But listen, listen, listen. Can I ask you? Can yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you're a doctor and you've delivered all three of those kids, who's more qualified to talk about childbirth? You or those? I answer that question. Three? I answer that question because everything I say is well thought out before I even say it. If I'm a doctor, yes, that qualifies me more than most men, or probably all men, unless it's another doctor, right? But I can't get pregnant and carry the baby for nine months and experience it. So I can't override a woman's experience. Yes, I studied it, right. but the experience I, that that gives that gives me a foot in the door to be able to sit down at the table with a woman that has the experience and have a conversation. We can have a back and forth conversation. What I'm saying is that example is not being personified when we see Shannon Sharp and us and and, uh, and uh, Stephen A. Smith. They know yeah, nothing yeah. about the WNBA. They're not watching the games. They're not. Oh. Equivalent to a freaking doctor who has delivered multiple babies. They're not. They're not that. You get what I'm saying. Oh, so, but, but so, what? so when we see when we see all these dudes on TV, everyone that's talking about the WNBA on these talk shows, none of them watch it, and but they've admit that. Saying? Wait, wait, wait. They don't watch it, and they've admitted it. They don't watch the games, and then the ones who do watch games have only watched Caitlin Clark's games. But what about the doc the, the doctor who, who studied childbirth for eight to twelve years, and the women's only had a baby she only held the baby for nine Roland, months Roland, Roland, we can't have this conversation Roland. 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 it doesn't matter Roland. it doesn't Roland. matter if a doctor studies his entire Roland. life about childbirth he ain't push no baby out have a child right no baby out bro like no, so no, i will no, always no. take hold on i will always take somebody who goes through the experience words before i take anybody else's he can have all the doctorate degrees in the world. He could have delivered a thousand babies, but he's never pushed one out. It doesn't matter if she pushed out one or ten. She has more experience. Hey, Roland, 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 because you, because you, Roland, Roland, because you want our day ones, I'm going to save you and end this conversation so you don't say nothing to offend nobody like, because that, that because that's out of love all right that's that's out of love Roland, man but i appreciate hey, man, the call man, you, you you know, know, just hand man that L. I, hey Roland, i concede the argument i lost if if that if that if it means that much to you yes i lost i concede the argument but i i, I don't i don't want you to continue down this path brother i love you man awesome, all right, okay, all right. Thank you, thank you, all right. For my call. thanks for the call he was going, he was going into the cauldron he was going into the cauldron i was finna cook him caller from new york <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I was, it was hitting that voicemail over and over. My bad, big dog, man. I was trying, you know, what I mean, I, I'm I'm trying to get him in and out, man, but I ain't doing such a good job, man. But help me out with this oh. call, man. But go ahead and go ahead and make your point, and and then um and 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 let us lobby it while you get off. Go ahead. Yes, um, I'm I'm trying to follow. I was trying to follow along as closely as possible. What your original question was, but listening to everybody, it kind of the the main point kind of got. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. congested. What was the initial? What was what was initially what we were focusing on? Should, that's really what I was. Should uh, men should men on. be the lead when it would, when we're having a discussion about women's athletics, specifically the WNBA? Should men be the lead? Right. As far as yeah, the uh, the commentators, so on and so forth. Yeah, when we when we when we have both options of. A journalist like Stephen A. Smith, a football player like Shannon Sharp or LaShawn McCoy, or an actual athlete that played in the WNBA like uh, uh, Shanae Gumake, which one should be leading that discussion? I I take the I take the words of the, of, of the professional athlete a little bit more more to, to heart because one they they were in that sport more than likely the one that they were talking about like say when somebody's talking about football and Shannon Sharp chimes in and he's giving he's giving some of the terminology. Somebody who's never played the game can go study that and understand just like how they say you can you know you got great coaches who never actually been in the game. So it's it's credence in studying the thing as well as experiencing experiencing it. But from what we're hearing or what it seems like we're speaking on is people who haven't even been paying attention and giving their input to it. Now, mind you, we still are talking about basketball to a certain extent. And for those who are following men's basketball, I can understand 
when I see a play being run by a woman or a man in the same in the same vein as correct, you know, what I mean, if NBA is, is my main point of focus, the I think the I think the differentiation or that I see here mainly is that the way that the game is officiated is differently in the men's and women's side. Right? Correct, correct. And for those men who were not paying attention to it, it seems odd. Be like, yo, that looks like '80s basketball. How they just beating up on people. You know what I mean? And and like the refs are swallowing their whistle. So and the girl, but as, but the girls is telling them, look, man, leave us alone. This is what we like. We, this is what we want. Let us do our thing. This is what we want. Don't just because the NBA went soft. And and listen, it's a lot of people that's going to jump from the NBA to the WNBA because they respect the way they play and how they leave it all on the floor. This nonsense we see in the regular season with the NBA, and they want to all of a sudden, you know, let them get physical in the playoffs. But then they want to dictate which game they want you to get physical so they can kind of uh, dictate which team is going to have the advantage and who's going to win. Like, all of that nonsense, man, the Vegas and, and the and the rigging of the games, people are done with the NBA. They, we just need a, 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 another product. That's why I've been enjoying the uh, WNBA so much. That's why I bought the league pass. That's why I'm learning all these uh, uh, teams and all these females. That's why I'm educating myself and watching it and having these discussions because I like that product a little better than I like the NBA right now. But, you know, thanks for the call, man. I appreciate you, brother. Hello? You got another one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got, I, know, I guess you're trying to get, get to the next. I, I do yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and finish your last uh, your last point. Then, I, then, we, then we'll roll. Now, why, my point, I think, I don't know if I said this last time that I did jump up here with you. I think that the reason why the officiating is as it is, mind you, also, and too, just to give a concise answer to your point where you're saying should men be involved, if you were studying the game and you were part of the game, researching it, just the same way that we give respect to Joy Taylor's opinion because she knows her football. You know what I mean? If you know what you're speaking about, at least, or you, like we get an idea that you you coming from a genuine place, I can respect your opinion on. Just of course, but but but, but, no but when you come in somebody else's house, wipe your feet, sit your ass down, yeah. and and you know what I'm saying, and and, and speak when spoken to. Like that's what that sometimes you got to do that. And Joy Taylor does that. She's not coming in and saying, "I think the men." should do X, Y, and Z like the women's league. She's not saying that. that that's what the that's what Stephen A. Smith and Shannon and that's what caused this conversation because they're telling the girls this is how y'all should do y'all league. And they're pushing back I on understand it. why they say that though. I do understand why they say that because they're using the NBA as, as, a, as a focal point of the success that they were able to garner because and they don't want and, 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 like but, but the NBA the NBA is dying brother. The NBA, the NBA I don't got know if even if that's the NBA is dying a slow death, brother. Trust me, it's dying a slow death. This they is still very part. profitable, whereas yeah. like yet, and yeah, there's two, there's there's two different conversations been. being had. That's, exactly, that's what there's I was two saying. different conversations being had. Stephen A. Them is it, 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 and, and Charles Barkley and everybody that's chiming in to me for the most part is they're saying this is how you should play bowl to grow the league to uh, make the most money. Yeah. And the yeah. players are saying dollars the most important. The players are saying we're trying to play the best brand of basketball that we can play. They're not even having the same conversation. Yeah. And and mm. and, and and there's there's the disconnect right there. Yeah. Yeah. But thanks for the call, New York, man. I appreciate I you. I mean, I let, me, let me get this other one in here, man. Thanks for the call, man. All right. All right. All right, Missouri. You the last call. We gotta move on, man. What's your thoughts? Hey, what's up? What's good? Make it quick. Make it quick. How y'all doing? We good. We okay, good. Okay, I'll make it quick. Yeah. Okay, look. Look, I'm listening to the conversation. I, I also listened to the last show that you had. So I've been a fan of women's sports, women's ball since I saw uh, Cheryl Swoop, Cynthia Cooper. I saw they three-peat. I was uh, a fan of Tennessee Lady Vols when Pat Summit was uh, the coach. I've been watching these sports since... A long, for a long time. The thing with what's going on right now with Caden, Caden and Clark and everything, the league that she plays in, the Big Ten, the Big Ten is not a basketball, women's basketball conference, okay? They have three and, 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 and two star recruits and stuff like that at best. They have may, may have a five-star or four-star occasionally, you know, 
with the level of talent that she played against. Now, she had a phenomenal year. Don't get me wrong. I was going to deck with her. I don't have nothing against her. I like her game is nice. She got a nice game. What the league is dependent on is for her to carry the league to a higher standard. But the skill set that she has for the level of talent that she on face night in and night out, I don't think that's going to jive. Because if you <laughs> She shut it down, and that's and that's the kind of come, that's the kind of uh, 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 defense that she gonna face night in and night out in the league. Yeah, of course. So when they when, so when people talk about what she bringing to the league as far as you know the uh, attention and all that kind of stuff, that's that that's true. They all joining in because of her, and they joining in because of Angel Reese. You know, they are the modern day Magic and Bird and stuff like that. Yeah, but is it going to carry over her skill set doing what her doing what she did in college? I, I I'm not hating on her, but I just don't think she gonna reach that level of success. She might not. I mean, but she getting glimpses of it right now. Right now, she's playing the Mystics, who's a, a team who hasn't haven't had a win yet this season. They're up by two points with three minutes left. Caitlin yeah. has 25 points. She's eight for 14 field goals, seven for 12 three pointers, plus yeah. two. On her plus minus seven rebounds, six assists, seven turnovers, four steals, three fouls. Damn. She hooper. But 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 but, seven but turnovers, if I'm right? not mistaken, again I follow the league. Ain't the Mystics 0 and 9. Uh, yeah, the Mystics are 0 and 9, and they on the back end of a back to back. They just played Chicago last night, and it was a rough game. Right. So you know, again, the, as far as the, the the people that leave, I saw what they did to Candace Parker when she was a rookie. Yeah. And all of this stuff, I, I saw all of that when these high-profile high rookies come into the league. Ain't nobody targeting her. Ain't nobody jealous of her, nothing like that. That's I the agree. thing that they've been doing since I've been watching. I've been watching watching uh, WNBA for 20 years. I agree. And ain't nobody doing nothing to her that they ain't do nothing to no other high-profile prof, rookie coming into the league. I agree. Right. Welcome to the league, rookie. So, I yeah, agree. I mean, and and this is what it is. Now, I, as far as the stuff they take. Oh, you got another take? Happen. How long this one gonna be? Because we trying to move on. You got another one? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> All right, thanks. What's your name? What's your name, brother? My name is Byron. Byron. All right, Byron. Byron. I appreciate it's you, man. Hey, hey, stay, yeah, just, hey, stick with us in the comment section, though. I just subscribe with you. I'm on that. Hey, that's a hey, that's that's my dog, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. Bro. The love, brother. My man, y'all y'all have a good weekend. All right, All right. You too. Yep. As well. I like Byron too. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he dope. It was another caller from Alabama coming in, but I already know uh, that uh, yeah we got we got to move because we trying. To, I thought I was trying to make it two hours. We might. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. We might go a little bit over two hours. My my apologies. No, we won't. Up. Super show. No, we won't. Yeah, this, Jay is Jay. <laughs> this nigga Jay man. Super hey man, show. everybody hit the like button. I appreciate everybody in the comment section, man. Everybody agree, disagree, whatever. It don't matter. We can do it cordially. It ain't got to be personal and all that stuff, man. DC Slim. He'll probably text me tonight. We'll have a conversation. You know yeah. what I mean? Nah, he done. It's, he done with you. Nah, nah he, he ain't done. That's my dog. Been, he's been hot with us before. He'll, he'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. send him on Wednesday. He'll, when he'll, 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 he'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he'll be back next week, man. That's I've my dog. I've seen you guys have much worse disagreements on this yeah. show. Man, DC, man, DC, yeah. I, I didn't see where he got upset. He just was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I mean, he's. I, I told. I told him he didn't have a point because he wasn't. He wasn't speaking to what my point was. How can you have a point when you're when you, like, hey, I I said the sky is blue and you start telling me about a uh, a uh, uh, Tesla? Reflection. <laughs> are, are, are you going to tell me? If, are you going to agree that the sky is blue? Or are you going to uh, tell me otherwise? But like, mm -hmm. if I'm trying to figure out if the sky is blue or not, and you start telling me about this Tesla, I'm like, dude, like, we're not talking that, about the same thing. Not. If you notice every single time we have this discussion, it gets like this, right? Men in particular, they become very defensive. He's Stephen Aid himself on this call. Oh. Stephen got the same way. He got, he got he got sad. He got upset. Then he, he just got talking. Don't do this to him, no, 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 don't do, don't, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. To, uh, don't do that to me. That's my, that's my he homie, got, man. That's he he he's still homie. Stephen he A. He's crazy. He's he he the homie forever, man. For real. For hey, shout that's out, my, to, shout out to DC Slim, man. He's an amazing uh, talent. Yeah, he is for sure. All right, let's move on.